We're standing in front of our converted disc seater. This was originally a Morris chisel plough bar, which we've taken off the tines and put on these disc units. These are acro plants, or also known as agro plough V-slice disc units. Uh, they're a double disc and they operate in a, in a V formation. One disc is slightly in front of the other and they travel at different speeds and that gives them a, a scissor effect to enable to cut through large amount of dry matter material, uh, which is what we're using them for. Um, you can see that all these units have a press wheel, uh, which is also used as a gauge wheel. Um, so we can put downward pressure on this, which will actually lift the discs up, um, which is not how we use them. We just have them traveling along the ground um, with very little uh, amount of pressure on the ground and so therefore we have very little pressure on the disc, so reducing the maintenance on the units. Um, you can see the seed comes in through the top and it is distributed just at the back of both the, the disc units. Um, there's a small piece of metal here called a fin which is actually just laying a small seed bed for the, for the seed and it's also protecting this tube from wear. So the seed's just going in at the back and is, and is covered up quite soon after with the press wheel. Uh, we have two discs, um, they are facing forward so there is no angle on the disc so that is the reason that we have virtually no soil disturbance whatsoever with this system. Uh, so where the two discs meet um, it's dead straight and it just provides a cutting effect, a dead straight cutting effect on the soil surface so we have no soil throw and that's a really critical component with the no-kill system. There's one more component of this machine. Uh, it's not a, a critical component at all for no-kill cropping, but it, it has been really important for us for pasture cropping, particularly in the wet sowing conditions. Uh, we've put a single coulter on the front of this machine and each one of these leads the sowing discs. Uh, the reason we've put these on is to be able to cut through large amounts of dry matter in wet conditions and also provide a little bit of tilth under the seed as well uh, for, for pasture cropping. So this machine, having these, has enabled us to do all our operations with just the one machine and we have removed a tine from the system altogether. Um, we have designed it um, so that these can be wound up, so we're not using these now while we're no-kill cropping um, and that certainly reduces the resistance and improves the efficiency and speed we can go um, and the fuel use we're using as well. Um, you'll notice on these coulters that there's a little bit of movement there, a little bit of swivel, maybe um, 15 degrees off centre. Um, that helps with uh, turning a little bit and also it helps them fin and swivel through rocks. Uh, that was one of our biggest worries with discs uh, and we found it not to be a problem at all. We do slow down a little bit for rocks but that little bit of swivel just enables them to fin past rocks um, and the, the heavy spring also enables them to go over them if it's a big rock as well.